morning, good morning to everyone. Hello, thank you for stopping by. My name's Connie Murphy, if it's your first time here, and I want to welcome you. Uh, hope you find something that you might like hearing or seeing. Uh, but in any event, welcome, welcome. So I'm just kind of doing a little sharing, a little chit chat. Who knows? But anyway, the first thing I wanted to share with you was uh, my foundation was a little bit dry. So Nanny and uh, the Moose, they're in their 80s, she said she puts castor oil under her foundation. So I thought, well, why not mix some of it in my foundation? And I think it worked out pretty good. Thank you, Nanny. Another thing, uh, Barbara was complaining that she had just had her nails done uh, and they chipped right away on the ends. So what I've been doing, I mentioned this to somebody on one of the comments is, I only do one coat of polish and one coat of a top coat. Now, yes, it could have been darker, but you know, I don't wear polish that often anymore. What else? Today I pulled out my uh, older packet of, of blush, the perfusion packet, and I actually use the darker one today. Mm-hmm. And of course my 99 cent finishing spray, uh, rose water. I love that. Talking about 99 cents, let me show you something. I finally found a red lipstick that I think looks pretty good on me. Sometimes they're too orange, uh, you know, and I don't like it on my face. And who knew that I would find it at Walmart? I don't know, 99 cents, double 99. This one is called 539A Cherry Frost. But it's pretty red. I mean, it's a nice red for me. I've tried some other ones like this one here which is called uh, Hot Red, but it seems to not work too good on me. Let's see what that looks like. I'll put the one on there that I do like. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now the very first one I bought was from Revlon. Paid a lot more money for it. It was a 315 and it said true red. So here's the Revlon. <laughs> anyway, another thing about the finger, fingernail polish, because I don't use it that often, sometimes I have a hard time opening up. So I always have a handy pair of pliers in my uh, nail polish drawer. Okay, what else do I want to chit chat about? Well, I want to first of all give a shout out to uh, Deanna Brianne Fairchild. She's been very kind to me and has given uh, out a shout out for me on her channel. The thing I like about Diana is she has a lot to say, but she says it beautifully in a very short amount of time. And uh, check it out if you uh, will. <laughs> what else? Oh, uh, you know, I had colored the sides of my hair and left my bangs gray. Uh, because for me, after about two or three months, I don't like to see so much gray around my face. It does light up my face and it does look pretty. And I'll kind of throw in a picture on the end of the video if I remember, uh, but thank God that I can color my own hair. Always have, always will. I cut it too and the whole ball of wax because uh, I've been going back and forth and back and forth with this gray hair, you know, trying to find a solution. So this is my solution, delusion. <laughs> Let me know which one you like the best, you know? I miss the gray hairs when my dark hair is there, 
But like I said, after about three months maximum uh, is when I start to say, no, not so much. So I guess I'm not totally ready, right? And that's okay. What else? Oh, I wanted to talk about how some people will beat themselves up when they make a mistake. I've never beat myself up when I've made a mistake. I always look at problems like this. If you can solve the problem, solve it. If you cannot solve it, stop thinking about it, okay? Now, if you go to solve it and it's not a good decision, well, you learned anyway, you learned something valuable. That's when we learn the most, when we make mistakes, right? <laughs> now, another thing, I wanted to uh, thank the YouTube channel gals for some of the things that I have uh, received because I do believe I have a teachable spirit. And so I kind of made a little bit of a list. Number one, the alcohol in the nose. That was fantastic, okay? And uh, the milk and magnesia mask. Never thought I'd be putting it on, that on my face, but the first time I did it for four to six hours, uh, and then I've been doing it like for 20, 25 minutes here and there since then. And uh, haven't slept with it yet, but only mainly because I don't want to. And uh, what else? Uh, hmm, I'm going to show you my little outfit today. Could be French, could be Italian, could be boho. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> anyway, that's really about all I have to say. I'll throw in the pictures of the uh, before and after. Touch up on my hair. And uh, who knows? Maybe a little surprise here and there. Okay. I'll get to that right now. I actually had two makeup looks this morning and I uh, decided just to go with a little bit more makeup. So this is where I started this morning. I did some room shopping, so I think I'll take this bag with me. And then I added some accessories. Hi. New outfit. So before is here, and then after. Really wide out in the daylight. If I say, there you have it. So I'm going to uh, check out now. I hope you have a great week. And until I see you again, thank you, thank you again so much for all your support. Connie Murphy, over 70, still glamorous. And I'll see you another day. Bye. Well, God willing.